Hello viewers, my name is Ms. Singado, your Metlet teacher from Ikambale Sizo Secondary School situated in Kenton and C. Welcome to ECDOE Broadcast Studios. Um, today's lesson we'll be talking about the interest, which will focus on the simple interest and the compound interest. So what is simple interest? Simple interest is a method of calculating interest on an initial amount of money over a period of time. The interest does not change for each term. So for you to understand how to calculate these, you need to know your concepts. So I'll first take you through to the concepts. So the first one is your initial amount. So what is the initial amount? It is the original amount that the person loans or invests. Interest rate. There's a difference between interest rate and the interest amount. Your interest rate is a percentage used to calculate the interest amount to be added on the original amount. And your interest amount is an amount added to the initial amount. Now, and the number of terms is the number of years or time to calculate the interest. Now, let's get to the worked example. Example, number one says, Sipo has decided to invest his 10,000 at a bank for three years. He decided to use ABC Bank and they offered him 15% per annum interest rate. Now, before you get to the question, you need to understand your statement. You need to know the known. Let's take out the knowns there. So you can have a ruler, you can have a pencil, you can have a highlighter to highlight what is given. So the first given point there is the 10,000 rand, right? And the second thing that is given there is the three years. And the next thing that we know there is the 15% PA. Now you need to write on the side, what does that mean? So the 10,000 rand, the 10,000 rand is your initial amount. And then the three years is the number of terms. And then the 15% PA is your interest rate for the year. The PA stands for per annum, that means for the year. So that is the known, that then that is when you go to the questions. So 1.1 says, calculate the total amount that SIPO will receive after three years. Let's get to the solution. Then we first write out our 10,000 Rand, which is the initial amount times the interest rate. So we've got the 10,000 Rand times the initial rate. Then we get 1,000. 500 rand. So what is that 1,500 rand? That is your interest for the first year. Remember we said in the beginning that interest for simple interest does not change, which means for the three years, it will be 1,500 rand, 1,500 rand, 1,500 rand. Because it's the same amount, you just say times three years. And then the answer is 4,500 rand. So that 4,500 rand is the total interest for that total term. And then the question asked, how much will SIPO have after the three years? So you take your initial amount, which was 10,000 rand, plus the total interest, which is 4,500 rand. So therefore, SIPO will have 14,000 rand, 14,500 rand at the end of the investment. So it means he made 4,500 rand. Now the other question, 1.2 says, how calculate the interest that will SIPO make? So you just take your total investment amount, which is the 14,500 rand minus the initial amount. Remember, that is the original amount that he, he gave in in the bank and then he made the 4,500 rand. That is how simple, um, simple interest is. Now let's get to the compound interest. So what is compound interest? Compound interest is interest of, it means that the interest of the following term is calculated by using the balance of the last term. 
The interest of the following term is calculated by using the balance of the last term. Therefore, interest changes each term. So the difference between the two is that the one, the interest stays the same, and with compound interest, the interest changes for each year. You calculate the interest using the balance of the previous year. Here are some terms that you need that are important for you to know about the compound interest. You need to know when was it compounded. Compound period, the number of times per year the interest is compounded, and the compounding frequency. Now the first one says, if it says it is compounded annually, it means that the interest is calculated once a year. Then if, it's, if it says it's compounded semi-annually, it means that the interest is calculated every six months or twice a year. If it says it's compounded quarterly, it means that the interest will be calculated four times a year, which means you ask yourself, how many quarters are there in a year? There is four quarters. A quarter is made out of three months. And then if it's compounded monthly, it means that the interest will be calculated every month or 12 times a year because there are 12 months in a year. If the interest is compounded daily, it means that the interest is calculated every day or 365 days a year. So let's look at the example. My number one says, Mary needs a loan of 5,000 rand to buy a laptop because she's going to university before a loan. First option says her mother offered her the loan at 20% per annum, compounded annually for two years. So let's first look at that one. Again, we need to take out the knowns. So what are the knowns there? The knowns is that we have 5,000 rand that is compounded at 20% per annum compounded annually for two years. So we need to take out the knowns. So the first known there is, which is the interest rate. And then we've got the 5,000 Rand, which is the initial amount. And then we have the term, which is two years. That is the term. So what is important there, the term tells you how many times you need to calculate your interest. So let's get to the solution. You do as you do on the simple interest. You take your initial amount times your interest rate. So 5,000 times 20% equals to 1,000. If you have noticed, we have not changed the interest rate because the interest rate says per annum and also it's compounded annually. It means the interest rate is for the year and the compound is also for the year. Remember, you cannot use units that are not the same. Then we got 1,000 rand. So what is that 1,000 rand? The 1,000 rand is your interest for the first year. And now, do we say times two? No, because this is compound interest. We only do that in simple interest. Remember, it says compound interest, you calculate the interest of the next uh, term using the balance of the first term. So how do we get the balance for the first term? You take your initial amount, initial amount plus your interest for the first term, it gives you 6,000 Rand. So the 6,000 Rand is your balance for the first year. So to calculate the second year, you take your balance for the first year times the interest rate, which is 20%, and that gives you 1,200 Rand. Now let's look at the second option. The second option says, her father offered her the loan at 10% per annum, compounded semi-annually for two years. Again, let's highlight. Now we have 10% per annum. We have compounded semi-annually and we have two years. Again, the 10,000 rand, the 10% is the interest rate. Remember, we know that the initial amount is the 5,000 rand and it is compounded semi-annually. What do we know about semi-annually? It means that the interest will be calculated 
two times in one year. Then it is for how long is this loan? It is for two years. Now you ask yourself, if it is for two years, remember, it says that semi-annually, it means that you do it two times a year. So if it's the loan, it's for two years, how many times will you calculate this interest? So if one year has two terms, how many terms will have two years? So if that means it will be four times. So you will calculate your interest four times because the loan is for two years. And also please take note that the interest rate here says 10%. The interest rate says 10% per annum, and but it is compounded semi annually. Remember, I said you cannot use units that are not the same because it means that this interest rate is for the year, but the interest is calculated half yearly or for six months. So, what needs to happen first? You need to take your interest rate and ask yourself how many semi annuals are there in a year? There are two. So you take your 10% and divide by two. And the answer is five. So which means that now the interest rate that we'll use here is 5%. Because why? Because the interest rate was for the year and it is compounded semi-annually. Now let's get to the solution. So can we see now here that we have used 5% instead of the 10% because now the interest rate, this 5% is the interest rate for the semi-annual. So you use the initial amount again times the interest rate gives you 250. So what is this 250? That is your interest for the first term. Remember, we are doing compound interest. Therefore, you need to have the balance. So how do you get the balance for the first term? You take your initial amount plus your interest. It gives you the balance of 5,250. How do we calculate the second half of the year? We use the balance of the first, first term. So the balance was 5,250 times the 5%. That gives us 262. 50. So what is the 26250? It is your interest for the second year. How do you get the balance for the second year? You take the balance of the previous term plus the current interest that gives you 551250. So that is your balance for the second term. Remember we said we will do four terms because the loan is for two years and it's semi-annual. So to calculate the interest for the third term, we use the balance of the second term. 5512.5 times 5% equals to 275.63. So that is your interest for the third term. So to get the, in the balance for the third term, you add, you add your balance for the previous term plus the current interest. That gives you 5788.13. That is your balance for the third term. To get the interest for the fourth term, you take the balance of the previous term, which was the third term, times the interest rate. That gives you 289.41. And that amount is your interest for the fourth term. So how do you get the balance for the fourth term? You take your previous balance plus your current interest. And that gives you 6,077 rand and 54 cents. So if if she takes the loan from the father, he will pay back 6,077 rand and 54 cents. Let's get to the third option. Let's look at the third option. And the third option says, her grandfather offered her the loan at 15% per annum, compounded monthly for three months. Again, we need to take out the knowns. The known there is we have 15% per annum, we have compounded monthly, and we have the three months. We have 15% per annum, 
compounded monthly for three months. So the grandfather said, okay, I will give you the money, but you need to pay back after three months. Again, we remember we do not work with units that are not the same. The interest rate is for the year, but the amount must be paid in three months. And it is also compounded monthly. So what do we do now? You ask yourself, how many months are there in a year? There are 12 months. Remember we said if it's compounded monthly, it means you do it 12 times. But in this case, he wants the money after three months. So again, let's go to the solution. Remember, the interest rate was 15% per annum but it is compounded monthly. So what needs to happen to the interest rate? We need to divide it by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So the new interest rate will be 1.25%. So the interest rate that we'll use for this option is 1.25% because it was compounded monthly. Again, we do the same step take the initial amount times the interest rate, then we got 62 rand 50 cents. So what is that 62 rand 50 cents? That is your interest for the first month. So how do we get the balance for the first month? You take your initial amount, which is the original amount, 5,000 rand, plus your interest, which is 62 rand 50 cents, and your balance for the first term is 5,062 rand and 50 cents. So how do we calculate the second month? We use the balance of the first month, which was 5,062 rand and 50 cents times the monthly interest rate of 1.25%. And it gives us 63.28 rands. So that is your interest for the second month. How do we get the balance for the second month? Again, you take your previous balance plus the current interest that gives you the balance of 5,125 rand and 78 cents. Then we move to the third month. Remember, the grandfather says for three months. How do we calculate the third month? We use the balance of the second month. So what was the balance of the second month? 5,125,78 times the monthly interest rate of 1.25%. That gives us 64,07 rands. That is your interest for the third month. How do you get the balance for the third month? You take your previous balance, which was 5,125 rand and 78 cents times plus the current interest which is 64 rand and 7 cents that gives you 5189 rand and 85 cents so now he has three options the grandfather says if i give you the 5000 rand you need to pay it back after three months and it must be 5189 rand and 85 cents so there's three options so the let's go back to the question so what do you think will be the best offer for her to take? Will it be the mother, the father, or the grandfather? Please leave your answer below on the comment section, and I will see you on the next lesson. Thank you. So now we have come to the end of our lesson. You can leave your questions on the comments. Don't forget to leave the name of your school so we can give shout outs. Please share, recommend, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson. Bye.